Once upon a time, in the land of Switzerland, there stood a grand and mysterious laboratory that people called CERN. This laboratory was dedicated to understanding the very building blocks of our universe and the forces that govern them. It all began in the 1950s when a group of European scientists proposed the creation of a large-scale laboratory to study the fundamental properties of matter. In 1954, CERN was officially established and the first accelerator, the synchrocyclotron, was commissioned in 1957. The early days of CERN were filled with excitement and discovery. In 1955, a team led by Emilio Segre and Owen Chamberlain discovered the antiproton, a major breakthrough in the field of particle physics. This was just the beginning of a long line of discoveries that would come out of CERN. As the years passed, CERN continued to evolve and grow, with new accelerators and detectors being added to its arsenal. In the 1980s, the Large Electron-Positron Collider, LEP, was built, which allowed scientists to study the properties of the weak force, one of the fundamental forces of nature. But it was the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, which was built in the 2000s, that would truly put CERN on the map. The LHC was the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in the world and it allowed scientists to study the properties of subatomic particles at energies never before reached. The LHC was used to discover the Higgs boson particle in 2012, a particle that is responsible for giving other particles mass. This discovery was a major breakthrough in our understanding of the universe and was even awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2013. But CERN's work didn't stop there. The LHC continued to generate vast amounts of data, which was analyzed by teams of scientists from around the world. They made new discoveries and advanced our understanding of the universe in ways that were once thought impossible. CERN was not just a place for research and discovery, it was also a place for collaboration and innovation. Scientists from all over the world came to CERN to work on experiments and share their knowledge. CERN was an international organization, with member states from around the world contributing to its funding and operation. CERN was also a leader in the development of advanced technologies such as superconductivity and high-performance computing. These technologies had wide-ranging applications in fields such as medicine, industry, and environmental protection. CERN also played a key role in the development of the worldwide LHC computing grid, WLCG, which allowed scientists around the world to access and analyze the data generated by the LHC. CERN was also known for its contributions to the World Wide Web, which was developed at the laboratory in 1989 by Tim Berners-Lee. This technology changed the way we communicate and access information and it was all made possible by the brilliant minds at CERN. CERN was also a leader in open science, with a policy of making its data and results available to the public. This allowed other scientists and researchers to build upon their work and further advance our understanding of the universe. CERN was also a strong collaboration program with other major research institutions around the world, which allowed them to tackle some of the most challenging and complex problems in science. As the years passed, CERN continued to push the boundaries of what was possible. They made new discoveries, developed new technologies, and collaborated with scientists from around the world. But what truly made CERN special was its people. The scientists, engineers, and technicians who worked at CERN represented over 100 different nationalities, each bringing their own unique perspective and expertise to the table. They were all united by a common goal, to unlock the secrets of the universe and to advance our understanding of the world around us. CERN also had a strong education and outreach program which offered workshops and other activities for students and teachers to learn about particle physics and the work done at CERN. They wanted to inspire the next generation of scientists and to show them the possibilities of what could be achieved through curiosity, hard work, and collaboration. Years went by, and CERN made more and more discoveries, the world's scientists were in awe of what CERN was capable of. The facility was constantly upgraded and new experiments were planned. The research and discoveries at CERN not only advanced our understanding of the universe but also had practical applications in everyday life, from medical technologies to energy production. One day, a new generation of scientists took the reins at CERN and continued the legacy of discovery and innovation. They built new accelerators and detectors, and pushed the boundaries of what was possible even further. And as they did, they remembered the pioneers who came before them and the sacrifices they made to make CERN what it is today. And so, CERN continued to be a beacon of knowledge and discovery, inspiring people from all over the world to come together and explore the mysteries of the universe. And as long as there were curious minds and a desire to understand the world around us, CERN will always be there, leading the way in the quest for knowledge and discovery.